My name is Arun Murthy. I'm uh, one of the founders of Hardworks. You know, th this journey on Hadoop started a long while ago for you know a lot of people, a lot of us at Hardworks. Um, you know, previously, I've always been trying to do open source. I uh, used to work on open source um, even with my previous employer at Yahoo. And then when Eric, who's the founder and CEO of Hardworks, you know, sort of showed up at our doors and said, you know, why don't you guys work on this new thing called Hadoop? The first, my first reaction was, geez, who wants to write Java? If I look back at it, um, I feel like one of the really big strengths of Hadoop is that it's been written in Java in the sense that, you know, to get to the same level of maturity uh, with an alternate software stack, which is, you know, C or C++, you know, would have taken us a lot longer than it took us to get to Hadoop where it is in Java. Um, obviously, it, as you sort of come down the other end of the spectrum, it, it's a little harder to get the last, you know, four or five percent of performance in Java, but, you know, if we weren't here, it wouldn't matter, right? If we had taken 10 years to get Hadoop to where it is today, nobody would have cared about it. Um, so I think the fact that it's in Java is actually one of Hadoop's biggest strength, it's, strengths. It allows us to, you know, iterate really fast and actually deliver software which works really, really well for the 89%. It's been a great journey so far, um, and I feel like we're just getting started. Now, if you take a step back and understand what Yarn is, uh, you got to understand what MapReduce was, right? And MapReduce, in my mind, as somebody who designs and develops a system, was actually two different things, right? One was the user framework in which the user writes mappers and reduces and inputs formats and output formats to process data. Um, that was the user view of the system or the user framework. But then we also had a runtime or the, you know, sort of the MapReduce system, if you will, which would take these user applications, distribute them, uh, run them to completion, to deal with uh, resource management, failures, and so on and so on. So what we've done um, in the last couple of years, um, you know, probably the last three years actually, starting uh, when we started up with Yarn, was to, was, to, was to break up the resource management aspect of uh, MapReduce from the user application framework. So we now have Yarn, which is a generic resource management system, um, and then MapReduce just becomes one of the applications in Yarn. Now the, the strength of this is that we can now run different applications, whether it's MPI or graph processing or iterative processing or machine learning, within the same system that is Hadoop, with, which is Yarn, um, as a peer to MapReduce, right? So MapReduce is no longer this, um, you know, gorilla, the 800 pound gorilla in the Hadoop ecosystem. It's merely one of the applications. And this allows us to get significantly more, um, you know, sort of bang for the buck if you're using Hadoop. Once we open up Hadoop 2.0 with Yarn, you'll see a lot more improvements like Apache Tiz, the ability to learn, um, ability to run other applications such as Storm or Giraffe or all of these things come into Apache Hadoop, which really opens up Apache Hadoop um, you know, for, for a whole lot of use cases. And I feel like this is actually really, really getting to a point where Yarn will become, Yarn, the, the value of Yarn will be obvious to everybody in the next you know, 12 to 18 month time frame as people deploy it. 25, 30 people at least, if not more. Um, obviously, big thanks to the Yahoo team. They've done a lot of work over the last uh, 18 months to help stabilize it. We, we know that when we, when we ship this, this thing is rock solid stable. 